Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the JV Week 4 Match of the Week stream for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season. I am your fellow WC commentator, Andrew Schiss Jr., joined alongside our color commentator, Henry. Hello, how's it going? All right, let's get into some notes really quick. I accidentally put the note sheet up instead of the starting suit screen, so apologies for that. I uh, had a very, very tough day today, uh, very stressful, but uh, we're he I am here casting for you as well as Henry, so let's get into the notes. JV Week 4, West Salem versus Stratford. West Salem coming in with a 2-0 record. In Division 3, second place in the Proteus Conference to only Wisconsin Connections A. Their player lineup is Shiwa, who is their captain, a.k.a. the Susi the Slicer 25. Man, that's a real tongue twister. Uh, Ray and Ethan. Spring 2022 season statistics. Regular season 2-0, 6-0 game record. Uh, roster moves for West Salem. They lost Dylan, Ed. And they added Shiwa and Matthew, and they retain Ray. Uh, winter 2023 stats, regular season, 2-0. and And uh, game record, 6-0. and I realize that the spring 2022 stats are wrong, so that is my bad. Uh, so far this season, West Salem has defeated Watoma B, 3-0 in Week 1. At a Week 2 bye, and defeated Wisconsin Connections A, 3-0 in Week 3. All right, Stratford coming in two and one, did same division, same conference, except they are in fourth place. Players of Trijev, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that, but gonna go with that. Trijev is their captain. They have Benny and they have Nathan. Spring 2022 stats, they did not have a team last year. However, they did have a team in 2021. I don't know what the record was, uh, but moving on. Uh, Roster moves, they lost no players. They added Devin, and they retained every single person that was on their roster from 2021. Uh, went to 2023 stats, regular season 2-1, and one, game record 6-3. and three. They lost to West Wisconsin Connections Academy 0-3 to three in Week 1. Defeated Wisconsin Connections B 3-0 in Week 2. And defeated Wyuwega Fremont 3-0 in Week 3. With those nuts out of the way, Henry, what do you expect to see in this matchup? Okay, so while I initially think it would go in the favor of West Salem because they did beat Wisconsin Connections this year, um, honestly, I think that it could go to either team just because Stratford does have that one extra game play. They do have that more experience under their belt here. I do think that that fourth place rating is a little unfair, assuming that they still have played one more game than West Salem is here, but it could go either way. It's all due to Watoma uh, being in third place, only playing one game and winning that one game. Kind of weird how the CS statistics work out if teams only play like one game and, you know, they're undefeated. Lobby information has been sent, so both teams should be joining shortly. Game time is scheduled to be 3.45 p.m. Uh, if you were not able to tune into last Tuesday's stream, man, you missed a great one. Waukesha South versus Oak Creek went all five games with Waukesha South coming out on top narrowly 3-2. to two. What a series, Henry. Absolutely. Just barely... Barely retaining that no loss regular season game record there. Yeah. Oak Creek almost had it too. They did. They, they were almost on the, a reverse sweep. Yeah, they were on the cusp of it. That JDE goal game four OT really 
really put the pressure on for Waukesha. So, but they rose up to the occasion and they got the job done. And at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. Looks like we've got Stratford in here. Morning teams. Not sure why Stratford's on a team. Or it looks like one of the players in West Salem is having computer issues. Uh oh. <laughs> but what this year, uh, so we get that figured out. Oh, well, it's not a West Salem stream without technical issues. So I'm never, kidding. never. Gives me flashbacks to week week two. Um, I believe oh, it was no. JV. I think was it, was, that varsity? it was varsity. It was uh Yeah, it was varsity. Yeah, it was Waterford and Sean. Yep. And then right as we decided to end the stream, power came back on. Yep, water Watertown was or Waterford was ready, but Sean already left their venue, so we couldn't have that matchup. Luckily they didn't get to replay it though, which is nice. I believe Sean took that one uh three to one. All right, got about six people watching the stream. Welcome. This is a JV Week 4 Match of the Week stream for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season featuring 2-0 West Salem taking on 2-1 Stratford. Both teams in Division 3 in the Proteus Conference trying to better their positioning to get the top spot for almost got to Connections A. Alright, since we have some time before West Salem joins the lobby, I want to make the audience aware that we have partnerships going right now, and there is a Pro Call of Duty event happening on April 1st, 2023. So starting with STEMFuse, we can officially announce our partnership with STEMFuse as our curriculum provider. They have a great catalog of curriculum like video game design, esports, electronics, and more. For more information, check out the free esports course and course catalog that is linked in the stream's description. Uh, next, we have our partnership with Vanta. So we recently partnered with Vanta, a youth esports coaching and development platform to provide expert supplemental esports coaches to our community of school slash gamers. A link with more information can be found within the stream's description as well. And finally, the Minnesota Rocker Home Series. Pro Call of Duty is coming to Madison, Wisconsin. And ticket sales are live right now. If you use code WASIA, will grant a five dollar donation and you can use it to buy tickets so as of yesterday february 1st at 8 a.m public ticket sales went live and there are still tickets up right now so if you haven't gotten your tickets and you're interested by all means go ahead and buy the tickets the event will i highly held... recommend it yes <laughs> the, the cdl event... is really fun to watch yeah the event will be held at in the orpheum theater at 2 p.m central time with doors opening at 1 p.m central time in Madison, Wisconsin. All right, with those sponsors out of the way, uh, don't know how to fill the rest of this data every time up. So, Groundhog did in fact see a shadow today. 
<laughs> Six more weeks to winner. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, I watched your live stream this morning. It was pretty. It was pretty good. <laughs> they were hyping up the crowd for the big moment where Phil was gonna come out and either see a shadow or not see a shadow, and he did see a shadow. So six more weeks of winter. That's gotta be like one of the coolest traditions ever, man. Yeah. Like, it's been going strong for, like... It, it's, like, so I'm scared of anyone, unless you're American, like... Yeah. <laughs> there's holidays in other countries, like, today. Like, in France, there's Chandelier, but, like... Yeah. We have a day where we worship a groundhog. Yeah, it's the greatest thing ever. To anyone outside of America, that makes zero sense. <laughs> I know. Yeah, about 137 years ago, it was created, 1886. <laughs> 137. Uh, yeah, when the Pakiswani Groundhog Club was made. Man, that's great. Alright, still no word back from West Salem. Hopefully we get a word. <laughs> I don't want to have to postpone or cancel another game. Oh this my gosh. <laughs> Got about 10 people watching the stream. I mean, I, I guess we can talk about the Super Bowl that's coming up. Let's go, Kansas City. Eagles, Chiefs. <laughs> ah, you know, you know, the Chiefs, you know, the Chiefs have a good chance, but, you know, I kind of leading towards the, the contrary here. This is here, what, like our, our, like, third Super Bowl that we've had yeah. in, like, the past few years. So, yeah. pretty sweet. And then you got the you got the Eagles with Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown. You know you got all those skilled players on that team. It's gonna be a really good Super Bowl. Yeah. Not to mention the Kelsey. And Tom brothers. Brady retired too. Yep. <laughs> hopefully. For real this time. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, gi I give it two weeks. Mm -hmm. Ah, he'll come back when the 49ers are injured again. I actually have five viewers on YouTube and only three on Twitch. That's that's pretty odd. It's usually more. Usually, I think Twitch is like the preferred viewing platform. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, I think. It's so nice having restream, man. So they're just streaming to Twitch exclusively. Because you got you got Twitter, you got YouTube, you got Twitch. Unfortunately, we don't have we don't have Facebook anymore because of Mike's account. But you know that's fine. <laughs> the way that it got bad is just so funny. Yeah, <laughs> a Virginia account. <laughs> oh, man. False advertising. Yeah, uh, man, hammer. Man, poor Mike. He's been through. He's been through it this year, man. All right, it looks like West Salem is ready, so they'll be joining, uh, I'd say, any second now. All right, we don't have to cancel it. Sweet. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully another another good series, though. Hopefully it's not a complete sweep. Uh, considering records, I don't think it's going to be that much of a blowout. Yeah, 100%.
I think it's actually hilarious how the Broncos had to give up a first-round pick just to land Sean Payton as their head coach. Yeah. I mean, I mean granted, they did have his contractual rights, but, like, Dem the Broncos have just been the Rams, man. Just, they're like, screw, screw these picks, man, you know? They throw two for Wilson, and now they just throw one for Sean. They better hope that works out, man. I feel like I can see some success in their future. Yeah, I mean, I, if, if Russell Wilson's able to get back to his, his prime form, then, yeah, they'll, they'll go places for sure, especially with that defense. That was the only good thing about their team last year is that defense. I mean, they, they were pretty close with teams like Kansas City for the most part, but obviously they lost both games, but, you know, I... It, the defense kept them in it. It's just their offense was, you know, not there. Just tarnished. Never yeah, really got well, I didn't going. expect going into this is the Bengals having this good of a year. Again, yeah. Yeah. Still waiting on West Salem to join. <laughs> I did send lobby information again, just in case if the coach didn't see it. And we got to see the Dallas Cowboys repeat history again and not do well in the playoffs as they have for the last half century or quarter century, I should say. Uh, the funny thing is because I know a ton of Cowboy fans. Like, Oh, man. <laughs> Annoying. Noiseating fan base. And I know one Lion, Lions fan. Oh. Every time Green Bay would lose, yeah. he would rub it in all of our faces. Oh, man. Even though we all clown on him for liking the Lions in the first place. Yeah. Oh, my God. Stratford's coach just said, my guys are falling asleep. LOL, JK, need more monster. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unbelievable, uh, man. Oh, uh, his right love. That's kind of BM. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's great. I don't know how people drink Monster. I can't. I I just stick. To I have it. yet to find an energy drink that I like the taste of. Yeah, I I just stick to water, soda, lemonade, whatever, man. I'm not a big energy drink guy. I used to be. Dude, most Red Bulls aren't too bad. <laughs> West Salem's coach just replied, said, I know. <laughs> I've heard stories about those, um, like, caffeinated lemonades at Panera, like, is it, like, giving, not, really like, giving people seizures, but, like, getting close to it, because they have, like, the big one has, like, I think, 390 milligrams of caffeine. Oh, my God. Why, why would you even Yeah. That? I'm, like, the legal, be... like, the legal top-off is, like, 400. How did that, how did so that So they're just, like, skating under that. 
And the thing is, this video I'll blow up with this girl saying that, yeah, I drink like four or five of these throughout the work day when I work at Panera, right? Wow. That's like... She's like, no wonder I feel amazing when I work at Panera. Like, probably because you're jacked up off of like a thousand milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. And apparently it's like just barely legal. Because they, like, have it labeled, but, like, really fine for it. Yeah. Man, this delay is something. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this delay is something. It's, it's just like, come on, get out with it. Oh my goodness. Uh, once again, All the if, difficulties. Once again, if you guys are just tuning into the stream, this is the JB Week 4 Match of the Week stream for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season featuring 2 0 West Salem versus 2 1 Stratford. Currently, we are waiting on West Salem to enter the lobby. Uh, computer issues with West Salem, that's why it's taking so long. No, it's actually kind of crazy. The two teams that started with W that have been featured on here have had some sort of technical issue. I just realized that. Well, I don't know. Oh, that's actually kind of... Yeah, that's... I don't want that... to start with W. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Waukesha, Waukesha, you know, Waukesha was pretty Wa fun. Waukesha knows what they're doing. They're, they're fine. They know what they have in their esports team. They, they, they know not to have technical difficulties. But, you know, granted, you know, you can't prevent some of them from happening. They just pop yeah. up randomly, just like me with my Windows updates. Uh, anyway. Only seven people watching. All right, we finally have movement, ladies and gentlemen. We finally have it. Oh, we're we're playing. The game's happening. It only took like a solid thirty minutes. All right, first game is beginning. Oh, just for the laggy rocket league. Not sure it's going off my game here. What? Oh, that's only gonna be a goal. Wow. From Zixer there. They just pop right in and score right away. West Salem taking a That was so cinematic. Lead. Wow. We saw Benny and we saw Judge of like <laughs> rock, fly past each other. There. Wow. All right. West Salem jumping out to a 1-0 lead. Not even 10 seconds into the first game. Oh, a nice oh, demo and a, there. A demo? All right. Nice demo by 23. Let's see if Benny can go for this one. And he puts it in. Demo from Isa. All right, Benny. Tie it up the score for Stratford here. Nice shot there from Benny. Tying the game up at one. Not four. even 20 seconds in either. Yeah, not even 20 <laughs> seconds in. Just barely 15 in. We've already got a 1 1 score. Oh, we Trick misses that one. Oh, it gets a demo though. though. Benny going up for it. A demo from Stratford on the sushi. And the follow up from Nathan. Great follow-up there from Nathan. Just playing it right, reading the bounce, taking advantage of what's in front of him, and West Salem on defense there. Pretty much non-existent. Looking like Trayvon Diggs when he gets burnt by a wide receiver. Nonetheless, though, ball rolling into 
Stratford territory. Benny he's going not up. He's playing pass at Sushi there. Ball popped he's up. He's gonna be. Nathan was saying. there. Oh, an own goal! He's got a lot of hands of Benny. Oh, man. A score goal. Wow. Benny just saying, here, hit wait. this for me. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm stupid. Sushi hit it into the goal for Benny there. Yeah, it's a perfect own goal. <laughs> like, here you go. Here's the setup. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was an own goal. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> own goal puts Stratford up to. Zixer getting some, uh, uh, not Zixer. It's 23. Yeah, 23 getting that push there. Strajiv is going to go for the center Nathan there. is there. Oh, oh Sushi save. With the save. Zixer trying Nathan to go for a demo. To score that goal. Strajiv is going to go off off the backboard. But no one is there to intercept it. Benny. Benny's centering he is going it. For it. But it is going to be intercepted by Sushi. With a good save. But the flick is right for the goal. Trigby gets Strajiv. it in. Try to, I, I, that name is very hard to pronounce. It's, <laughs> right? it's okay. going to follow yeah. up and get, get that goal for Stratford here. Apparently, it's pronounced Trigby. So. Trigby? Yeah. All right. Trigby with a nice goal off the assist from Benny, putting Stratford up three with 330 remaining in game number one here. Nathan trying to drive this one, gets it towards middle of the field. Benny follows up. What oh, a ball. Is open. Oh, Benny my goodness. Up. Wow. Another what goal a... for Stratford. They have four play to one lead here. Oh my. I mean, five to one lead here. But Check that bump by four. Nathan, man. Wow. Amazing play there for Stratford. Putting them up four. So she's going to get a pass. But Benny with the clear. And Nathan. But 23 is actually going to... Stop any momentum that ball has there. Sushi with a good hit out of the way. So but Trigby is there. He's going to go up for it. But he's going to hit it right to Zigster. Oh, Benny misses Benny that gonna touch. Benny going to miss the redirect. Oh, oh, wow. What a rebound. A tap? What a <laughs> rebound. Point, like... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Is that a double tap? I couldn't really tell. No, okay. It hit the, it hit the uh, yeah, I did the point. Yeah, uh, but still, nice rebound from Nathan. Putting Stratford up five. Oh, they could get a Brazil, Henry. Stratford can. We, we very well might see the Brazil. So plenty of time left here. In position, Benny. Ben oh, ben no. Ben oh, come on. Almost the goal there. For us. God, we're so close. I think Trigby's trying to hit a flip reset there of some sort. JB, that would have been insane. Benny. Nice demo oh, by Nathan. Okay, Nathan with the demo. Benny with the pass. Hey, oh, there Trigby we go. Up. And there's the Brazil. There's the Brazil. Trigby puts it in for Stratford. Wow. Even the 30 seconds on the clock still. With a score like this, I don't know what West Salem can do here. Well, West Salem preheated the oven, but. Benny with, with the fake. I'm not really sure what that was. Yeah, I'm not sure either. <laughs> Preheated the oven with nothing cooking. West Salem is as they're down six and they've allowed seven unanswered goals in this first game. It's gonna get past six there. It, it is centered. Oh my goodness. Oh, but Nathan not able to get it in there. Oh, but he's gonna get the touch. Benny's there. Oh, that was just gonna fall it's right, right in. It's gonna go in from that angle. Nathan with the goal. Hat trick for him. And yeah, West Salem looks very discombobulated on defense, to say the least. 8-1 to one in the first game. Stratford is cooking right no, now. I, I don't know what Stratford is doing. Is they're, like, finding... Uh, they're getting West Salem in the positions there. So they're able to find that open goal and then just get it in there. Tricky defense is kind of center. a conundrum. Oh! And then another goal for Benny. Another one. I believe that's his hat trick. If he didn't Tr already have one. Trigby, a nice pass right to Benny there. And yeah, again, West Salem just not looking too great on defense, allowing nine unanswered goals here. Insane. 
I don't think Mercy Rule goes into effect because it's already 9-1. If, if, if West Salem never scored, Mercy Rule would be in effect for sure. Nice bump there from Trigby. Nathan gonna deny anything going into the goal box there. Eh? I think Stratford just had too much time to prepare in that 15 minute delay. I that Ariel. Benny could have reset it for him. Did grab boost there. 23 on, no boost. Tried to take it down the court. Well, how ambitious there. Very bold. Tricky. It's going to get it up, but it is going to go past him. Nice pass Nathan. back. Oh, it looks like West Salem are trying to get it down the court here. Ball still popped up. Nathan no going to go up for it. Oh, is he going to get this Nathan one in? Up. Oh, his oh, teammate blocks quite. it off. West Salem looking to turn this one around here for at least one more goal. Susie and Zixer just disengaged from the ball there. Let's see what 23's got in his tank. Oh, he's got boost. <laughs> That's for sure. Sushi gets it past one. And that one's going to get Benny saved by Benny. Benny out of the way. Clearing the goal. It is going to be centered, though, right? Oh, away, 23 was there. Oh. That there. Did the old it helicopter was. spin. Sushi That's trying to get a center here. Not able to. Clock is ticking. Trigby. Taking it out of the way. Getting it past Zixter there. In that is a wrap. That right, will do it for Stafford. game number one. Nine to one victory there. Absolutely dominant. As dominant as you can possibly be, man. The shot output says almost it all. all players getting hat tricks. The shot output says the entire story. Stratford taking game one by a huge margin. As we get set for game number two, uh, West Salem is going to have to change the whole dynamic of their team, in my opinion. They're going to have to get more coordinated on defense, set up passing plays, much like Stratford has. Oh! It looks like West Salem is going to sub. Oh! They're bringing out the big guns. Ooh. And that is legal, so they can do that. Oh, are they? I don't know if that was an accident on the start, but... Oh, what? We are going to have all three of the West Salem players from last game back into this one. Essentially, the sub didn't go through. What a save from Sushi Slicer there. What a save indeed. Are you looking we did just have another player join the match. So right. I do believe that maybe the sub just wasn't able to go out with. Does seem like we're gonna play out this game anyway though. As we are 30 seconds into it. Nathan like for a, a demo from Benny on the sushi. Balls in the air, Benny, Benny follows it. He's going to try to take it down, but sushi slicer is going to clear it. Oh! Almost for the goal there. That would have been an amazing shot. It, that would have been insane. Trigby showing West Salem what he has. Showing him the talent. Zixter, oh, Zixter! With the angled shot is going to score the first goal of the game in West Salem. Wow. Game. Great start for West Salem. Let's see if they can keep the momentum on their side, though. See if they can shut down Stratford here. That's the big key here. If they shut down Stratford, especially with a goal lead, it could be pretty difficult for Stratford to get a point on the board. Kickoff is going to go to West Salem as well. Nathan was AFK for a little bit. Or maybe he was just sitting there. I'm not sure. Probably just sitting there, I would suppose. 
Sushi getting it into Stratford territory. That ball is going to get cleared out by Trigby. Trigby going to bomb it down. And that is going to go right off the oh, back. what a point. save! It's going to be cleared by Sushi there. What a save by Sushi Slicer, man. As we are, okay, as we see, West Salem is taking a more defensive approach to this game. Clearly learning from the mistakes of the last. Just gotta stay coordinated. Gotta and call. He is gonna get going a pass. The ball. Twenty-three there. Ball centered. And Benny is there. Benny, end of the goal. Nice pass off the wall for, or from Nathan and Benny. Just right place, right time. Score tied at 1 3 15 remaining in game number two. Nathan gonna try to drive this one up the wall. Is successful with that attempt. Gets it past Zigster. He's gonna get a pass in Trigvi's right there to follow up. It ball is center. center. Not, not quite. Ah, yeah, that one was way. It over. is gonna go past the goal. Benny trying to put some pressure on. Bumps one. Sushi goes in the air. Nathan, Nathan, oh my god. The goal. What a play from Benny there. Wow. It's just gonna fake out sushi slicer. Just send sushi to the 43. moon, man. Oh my goodness. Ball centered again. Sushi is going to clear that, and he is going to power hit that all the way down. That is going to go right into the goal, almost. But it is going to be intercepted by Nathan. Nathan with a good catch there. Passing right to Trigby. Zigster, going to miss the ball there. Sushi going up. That shot is going to be saved by Benny. And it is going to be up. taken down the field. By Nathan here. Oh he my god. And Benny for the hit. Wow. Again. Just these perfect assists we're seeing from Stratford. Another perfect play. Hey, I mean, these players, they're, they're varsity caliber. I'll give them that. They are varsity caliber players. Stratford's lineup. They are just doing, they are just doing everything today. Off the kickoff. Trick V there. Puts it in. And Nathan gets his playmaker of the game. Nathan, the jack of all trades for Stratford here. As West Salem is up three, 206 remaining in game number two. Nathan, not able to follow that one up. What? Benny's there, not able to hit it either. Sushi gonna carry that one, but Trigby is there. Disrupting all of West Salem's plans. Oh, get to pass one! Oh, please! Oh, oh. my! Not quite going to get all oh, of the Nathan was there. Go off the, the, the goal post there. There been such an insane Benny dream. with the save. That one was very, oh, that was very close to being a goal. That would for, have been an exceptional for for sure. That was almost insane. Ball popped up. Is that going to fall one, in? Or almost in oh there. my goodness, it I falls in. What? What? Was what? Was unable to get it out of that goal line. It's sadly going to slip in there. Oh man, all three players is going the same direction. You hate to see it if you're West Salem. You hunters undo. Benny popping the ball up yet again. See if he can do oh a nice demo too in the finish. Can he get the goal? Yes he can! Oh, what a my. solo play. Just can he get down the field? What a solo play from Benny. And again, Nathan, his fourth assist alone in this game. That's definitely something to monitor for sure. One away from the Brazil yet again. Could they get two in a row? Looks like Benny missed that touch. Gets bumped, actually bumps into Nathan. 
Almost getting on the goal there. Woo! Luckily for... Bradford gonna clear that. Gonna oh, oh, Nathan God. puts it in! Oh my Lord. <laughs> and the Brazil the two times in a row. In the hat trick for Nathan. Wow. I words cannot describe Nathan's performance, man. It just it's just simply a phenomenal. Jeez, man. Like if I was West Salem right now, I would be quite a bit unmotivated. I'd, I'd be shivering in my boots right now if I had to go against Nathan. I would one hundred percent be quaking in my boots. <laughs> Nathan has that X factor to really shiver the timbers as he has just been doing it all for Stratford in this game. Ten seconds left, just about. It is clear. Oh, that, that shot's gonna, gonna be wide. The board, uh, they don't even need another goal at this point. They're gonna end it off with the Brazil. It looks like. Boss still up though. Nathan going up, trying to get another oh, one. It's just gonna touch. Oh my God! Just. Oh, that's Stratford for two to zero right now. One away. You did the 3 0 sweep. These stat lines are insane. I mean, just now look at. I expect to see the sub. Look at Nathan's stat line up. alone three goals, four assists, zero saves, seven shots. Seven man. shots. Just, just aggressive. That's exactly what Stratford's showing here. And they actually end this game with the Brazil, unlike the first game, which ended 9 to 1. Alright, well, it looks like the sub is not present for West Salem. So we will play on here. Stratford is able to win game number three. The series will reach its end. Stratford will advance to three and one on the season. Benny misses that one. That one gets cleared out by Sushi. Trigby gets it off Stratford's side. There to follow up. 23 is able to intercept that. Trick V gets a wide open <laughs> shot. Oh, wow. Started off strong. Another assist from Nathan. Because, of Over course. Two of them. Yeah, Nathan, the assist master here. The ultimate tactician here for Stratford. And he looks to follow that up. He's not able to. Trigby in the air. Flip resets as well. Man. Trafford just showing out. Back in my days of playing against Stratford for Horlick's JV team in 2021, their team was not this good. So Stratford definitely has something going for him in the future, that's for sure. Oh, I think that shot was actually blocked off by Nathan, unfortunately. Or Stratford. Not that it really matters that much anyway, but. He's going to be taking it down the field. It's going to be centered. Oh my. He is going to rebound. No way. Wow. Oh, what if the West Taylor players to score a second goal of the game? Trigby gets the 50, and that one just rolls right in. Keeping the eight ball rolling is Stratford here. Up to 348 remaining. And he actually gets a bump onto 23. Sushi and 23 both miss. Zixter is able to hit it, but accidentally 23 puts it in to West Salem territory. Nathan taking his time here, going up. See what he can do here. It's a pass off. That one's going to get cleared out by Sushi. Is she gonna miss? Zigster gonna miss as well. Oh, that was almost an really old goal. goal. It is centered. Twenty-three puts it in. Had to play the defense there, but was unable to. And twenty-three is gonna score the goal. Twenty-three with a nice shot. A little bit of miscommunication from Stratford on defense there. Very dangerous situation that ended up costing them. Was Salem one goal away from tying? 
Trigby going up, passing it directly down to Benny. That play did not work. It was developing, but that did not work. It's going to be one rebounded might. off. Oh. Going to hit it off the goalpost, but it is going to go back to Nathan, who is going to get a pass, and that will be another goal. Wow. Just everything is working for Stratford. Even when it looks like it's not going to work, it, it it's works. It's all fitting into place. It's all a part of the master plan. Nice demo by 23 on to Trigby. Three gonna miss the ball here. Sushi going up. Gets a nice 50. See if Zixter can follow it up on the wall. Not even gonna attempt to do that. Nathan might get another open shot, and he does. Another? Just oh my lord. Boom! Puts that right in there. I have a feeling we're gonna see another Brazil. Could happen. Three goals, two minutes, 30 seconds. It's possible. Especially in this kind of matchup. Sushi misses the ball. A little bit of a double commit by Stratford on the kickoff. After that miss. Ooh. Trigby gets it past one. Can't get it past Zixter, though. Because he sneaks in. Ball gets past Trigby. And Nathan. Nice demo by Sushi. Zixter there. And he's not able to put it in. Ooh. But Nathan for the clear. 23. 23 centers it. Gets it past one. Sushi. Oh, they needed Sushi that. Was unable to make contact with the ball there. Needed a big play. Couldn't get that. Got the opportunity for a big play. Just couldn't execute well enough. Trigby trying to go for a center here. Pops it up. Nathan's there. Oh, my goodness. That would have been amazing if he would have got backflip goal out of all things. Trigby gets deleted as Benny scores for Stratford. Two goals away from a third Brazil within all three games. Nathan, shot is in! One away from the Brazil, yet again. Give if, if Stratford ever gets a varsity team again, make sure these three players are featured in that varsity team. I'll put in the good word for them, because they are electric. Ball centered. Goal's oh, open. It's going to be centered by Sushi there. Is gonna go, the ball is going to pop right in front of him. And he tried to get the 50. Zixter is going to ensure that that ball is cleared there. Trigvi looks like he is going to intercept it, and he will. He is going to bring it down with that aerial. Oh. Tap of the boost. The goal is open. Pass to Benny. Right to Benny. But it is going to be Trigvi's goal anyway. Securing the Brazil. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, I just got to hope that either Stratford doesn't score again or West Salem doesn't score again to really end on the Brazil. They really have only had one Brazil that's really stuck, you know? I mean, yeah, they hit it in the first game, but it ended 9-1. to one, So, can't really call it a Brazil ending, but you can for the second game. And you maybe could for the third game. But that might be a bit of a caster's curse now that I say that with 35 seconds remaining. Ball popped up by Sushi. Drive it on down to Stratford Lane. Ball gets over one. And yeah, they're not ruining not the Brazil. Quite. He knew. He knew. Trick me knew. It's playing time at this point. Yep. 10 seconds. Oh, no. Clock is ticking down. Spot the ball away. No! Oh. The Brazil no need the is Brazil. gone. Don't even don't need the need Brazil it. anyway. Trigby, his playmaker of the game. Three assists. We have five seconds left on the clock. Wonderful we'll see another wacky kickoff goal by West Salem to end things out. Same way it started. 
Ah, it doesn't look likely. It is going to go in favor of Stratford anyway. And there we go, and that Stratford. Is it, a 3-0 sweep from Stratford. And the whole game, we only, the whole, like, series, we only saw West Salem score three goals. That is... That's insane. Insane how dominant Stratford was there. Yeah. Stratford really pulling out all the stops today. As they advance to three and one, while West Salem gets their first loss and drops to two and one. Hopefully, standings updated for the rest of the Proteus Conference. Get a quick peek at those division standings. This is the website just crashes on my phone. I believe you crashed in game two. <laughs> yeah. All right, no updates to the divisional standings for the Proteus Conference of JV3, but with the win, we can say that Stratford will at least get third place. They should get second, but Watoma, the 1-0, is in their way. All right, well, with that being said... Uh, we will be ending the stream now. Tune in this Tuesday for Week 5's Match of the Week stream, which will feature, uh, I believe it'll feature Whitefish Bay, Whitefish Bay excuse me, versus Waterford. So Waterford will have a second chance to be on the Match of the Week stream, much like Shano had their second chance as well due to the cancellation of the Week 2 matchup. And uh, next week's varsity game for week five is yet to be determined yet, so stay tuned for updates. Keep your eyes peeled, in other words, for that update next week. All right, well, I have been your fellow see commentator, Andrew Schiss Jr. I have been your colleague commentator, Henry. And we will see you back this Tuesday for Whitefish Bay versus Waterford. Have a good night.